on a night long ago in a place far away. A baby was born on the first Christmas day. His name was Jesus. He came to this world to change everything because he loved you and me. We heard about manger, angels, wise men, manger in which baby Jesus could sleep. It's a story that's crazy, amazing, and true. It's a story about how much God loves you and me. So let's listen carefully as we tell the story. And let's worship Jesus, the great King of glory. Come join with me and let's travel back 2,000 years to the small town in the heart of Israel. We arrive at a time of great celebration. Mary, a beautiful young girl, and Joseph, the local carpenter, have just then announced their engagement to be married. Oh, time to celebrate, time to sing. Time to dance, to fling and swing. Get feet a moving in the groove. Grab your partner, start to move. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Sing the good news. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. And don't sing the blues. On the left should stand the men. Turn around and round again Jump three times and stand and shout It's good news, so let it out Let's celebrate Come on! Let's celebrate Sing the good news Let's celebrate Let's celebrate And don't sing the blues Ladies, come and join the dance. Swing those hips and don't just prance. Play us up in the sky. Make some noise and don't be shy. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Sing the good news. Let's celebrate. Come on. Let's celebrate. And don't. And Joseph going to be wed What a lovely couple that's been said She's so beautiful, he's so strong So let's dance and sing the whole night long Let's celebrate Oh yeah Let's celebrate Sing the good news Let's celebrate Let's celebrate And don't Let's celebrate, let's celebrate, let's celebrate, sing the good news, let's celebrate, let's celebrate, and don't sing the
Mary, highly favored one of God, Mary, oh Mary, highly favored one of God. the Lord your God is with you. Do not be afraid, for you have found favor, my child. Do not be child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. And he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing it and upholding it with justice and righteousness from this time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this.
Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant, be it unto me according to your word. Only later would the full nature of God's favor on her become clear, causing to her to respond in joyful praise. exciting news and yet so full of the unknown Mary now has a difficult task of trying to explain to Joseph her fiance that she is pregnant listen and imagine what happened at that meeting <laughs> Things didn't go as Mary expected. Whilst Joseph was not happy, he didn't believe her because he was a righteous man. He didn't want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to break off the engagement quietly. However, as Mary's figure began to change, she soon became the object of disgrace in the community.
hide away to avoid what people say he wants me to hide away a she now become a married and now pregnant Joseph is a naughty man Mary was a lovely child what's a she now become unmarried and now pregnant Joseph is a naughty man no one will believe To see me alone, afraid, abandoned now. What shall I do? I will trust in God alone. He will make a way, though all the world's against me now. Things look black for Mary. She is the disgrace of the town, but things are about to change. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived of her, in her, is of the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give his name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins.
Mary and Joseph were tired and sore. They had traveled all day and could travel no more. They finally arrived in Bethlehem town, only to find there was nowhere to lie down. The hotels were full. There were no more beds for Joseph and Mary to lay down their heads. Exhausted from walking and ready for sleep, they would even be willing to sleep with the sheep. They asked a kind man if they could lay in the hay, in the barn with the animals where the cows lay. The man showed them a spot and moved the cows over. For a pillow, he gave them a pile of clover. And Mary and Joseph sat down with a sigh. It wasn't the best, but it was warm and dry. And they slept for a while under the stars and the moon, perhaps unaware that Christ's birth would be soon. Oh, I ache so much. I'm tired and this donkey smells so bad. We've been traveling forever. That angel, he never even asked me if I wanted the job. My poor mother, my poor mother. What a time to have to go to Bethlehem. And you want to try sleeping rough in my condition. And Joseph, Joseph, this is not what he signed up for. But I gave my yes to God long ago. He set his tender gaze on me and I am his servant girl. And my spirit, my spirit rejoices. What will this child become? What will this child become? The wonder, the wonder of the ages, the spotless Lamb of God, soon to be revealed. Because God did not forget to show mercy to those who were in darkness and deep shadow. This child will be to them a great light. My time is almost come, according to your word, Lord, let it be to me, the mighty one has worked a mighty miracle for me, holy, holy is his name. After such a long journey, all they wanted was a comfy bed and somewhere safe, for already Mary was feeling the early signs of labor, but the welcome they received wasn't what they expected. No room. No room. No room. No room. There's no room in this town No room No room No room No room Why don't you simply turn around You're a man who couldn't wait 
Wanted all things on your plane Go away, it is very lame No room, no room in this town No room, no room, no room, no room There's no room in this inn No room, no room, no room Now where should I begin? We in here are decent folk And we've heard what people spoke That you, Joseph, are a naughty bloke There's, there's no room in this inn No room No room, no room, no room There's no room in this place No room, no room, no room, no room There may be just a space Out the back there's a stable bed You are welcome to sleep in there There's no bed, no table and no chair But it's a room, your room in this town No room There's room No room There's room There's no room in this town No room There's room No room There's room Why don't you simply turn around There's room No room There's room No room There is room in this town No room room why don't you simply turn around while the whole town was sleeping with stars shining bright Mary's baby was born on that first Christmas night Born in a barn, born in a barn with horses and hay. If you were a king, would you come that way? The king of creation had come to the earth and a Bethlehem barn was the place of his birth. I think I'd choose a palace, but God's way is stranger and God's son was born and laid in a manger. Yes, Jesus was born and wrapped in some cloth and for his first bed, he was placed in a trough.
the stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh he bright some shepherds were watching their sheep in the night the night had been quiet and silent and still the sheep had been starting to doze off until when all of a sudden a radiant light surprised all the shepherds and gave them a fright an angel appeared and said not to fear for the savior was born the messiah was here he'd be wrapped up in a cloth and placed in a manger Go see for yourself, he's a total game changer. He brings joy to the world, he's good news to men. The angel said this to the shepherds and then. A thousand more angels appeared in the sky. They sang praises to God in the heavens so high. What a huge celebration of joy to the earth as the shepherds were told of their dear Saviour's birth.
being a shepherd, Levi. Oh, don't you ever stop moaning, Sam. Anyway, I thought you were supposed to be with Aaron. And I'm sick of that Aaron. Always Just you wait me till I get hold of that Sam. Do you realise she let me down three times? Three times you never came to help me with the sheep. Where were you? Never mind where was I. I've told you to. I don't care about the stupid sheep. What? what? Anyway, who's on first watch? I did it last night and I need my sleep. Oh, don't you ever stop moaning, Sam? Yeah, stop moaning. Well, who's doing first watch? Oh, okay, I'll do it. And another thing, I'm sick of you two bossing me around. Anyway, why can't Levi do first watch? Can't you see? Levi's cooking. Can't you smell the burning? <sighs> and I'm sick of eating Levi's burnt food. Aaron, why can't you do the cooking? Oh, just look at him, hey? Gazing at the stars, daydreaming, thinking it's going to give us a better life. Wake up, Levi. There's nothing wrong with dreaming and looking at the stars. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with my burnt food. Ooh. It adds flavour. Anyway, it's better than your constant moaning. Yes. I'm sick of being a shepherd. Yes. Who's on first watch? Yes. I need my sleep. Yes. Sam, just go out and do some work for a change. You're a shepherd and that's that. Listen to the pair of you. What? This as good as it gets for folk like us. Hey? Hey? We're the lowest of the low. Oh. Oh. It's hard graft. Oh. oh, but it's better than begging on the streets. Oh. And don't forget the free fleas. Oh, go away. And the lovely sheep smell. Oh, ha ha, very funny, Aaron. Anyway, I'm not checking on the sheep later. You'll have to wait till first watch. Oh, you're just lazy and selfish, Sam. And bone idle. Aaron, you'll have to check on the sheep later. I'm too busy cooking. <laughs> really? No. One of you will have to do it. What? Well, I'm Levi, you have to do it. Oh, don't you uh, to ever stop arguing? What? You even argue about my dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you should try a bit of dreaming. Oh, okay. It might change your lives. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh. Do you know what, Levi? You're as daft as the stars you are. You and you, Aaron, you're both jealous of me because I'm quitting this job for a better life than this. Us? Jealous of you, Sam? Yeah. New job? What are you going to do then, eh? Are you going to become a teacher? <laughs> are you going to become a carpenter? <laughs> are you going to get married? <laughs> Who would want to kiss you, Sam? Your teeth are all rotten and falling out. <laughs> And don't forget, you're going to wear some nice clothes, I believe. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> and dine with the rich folk. There they all are. <laughs> Sam, you look like a sheep. <laughs> you smell like a sheep. <laughs> you even dream like one in your sleep. <laughs> Listen to the pair of you. There's nothing out there for folk like us. You, you, well, you can't, can't say, say that, Aaron.
do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy to all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger.
forevermore because of Christmas Day. Trumpets sound and angels sing, listen to what they say. When the angels had left there, alone with the sheep, there was no way the shepherds would fall back to sleep. Let's go to the town, the shepherds all said, and see if a manger is really a bed. And of this little king who was born here tonight, so the shepherds all ran to the town with delight. They arrived in the town and looked all around, and it didn't take long till the baby was found. And it was just as the angel had told them before, they found Mary, and Joseph and Jesus and more. Jesus lay in a manger. The story was true. The Savior had come, so what did they do? Those shepherds went out and they told the whole town. They told them how God, as a baby, came down, was born in a barn, and yet was a king. The Savior of heaven, as the angels did sing. So the shepherds set off and found Mary and Joseph, just as the angels had said. Overcome with awe and wonder, they fall at their, on their knees in worship and thanks. Only one thing remained. What was the baby called? So in gentleness, they asked. He left all heaven's glory By humble birth he came The gift of God to all the nation What shall be his name? I'll call his name Jesus The Savior of the world this little baby for me, the one that I adore, he shall be called Emmanuel. He shall be called Emmanuel. God with us, Emmanuel. with us
story of how Christ was born. We have so much to celebrate on this Christmas morn. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only dear son each person to save. And by trusting in Jesus our sins are forgiven. We have life eternal and the promise of heaven. And all because Jesus was born on that night. The high king of heaven came to make all things.
Wasn't that wonderful? You could hear that again, couldn't you? Yeah? Wow. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job. I think we've got an encore, though, of a certain song. If I'm not mistaken, if we're going to do Emmanuel with the choir, all of us together, yeah? Yeah. Come, let us adore him. Bow down before him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Yeah? If you guys want to join, if you know the words, if not, just hum along. But uh, let's hear that one more time. So this is audience participation time. Okay. Hallelujah. 